Hello, I'm Nathan, and thank you for joining me for another Daily Dose of Tao. Today I'm sitting in Tiananmen Square here in Beijing. Mao Zedong's tomb is right over there, as well as the Chinese National Museum. And behind me is the, uh, the seat of the uh, Communist Party's government. But what I wanted to talk to you today about was Chapter 76 of the Tao Te Ching. And so what does chapter 76 say? Well, chapter 76 says, We are born gentle and weak, but at death are stiff and hard. Green plants are tender and filled with sap. At their death, they are withered and dry. Therefore, the stiff and unbending is the disciple of death. The gentle and yielding is the disciple of life. Thus, an army without flexibility never wins a battle. A tree that is unbending is easily broken. The hard and strong will fail. The soft and yielding will overcome. So what's that mean exactly? It means it takes an immense amount of power and control to yield. More than it does to be very rigid in your stance. When tempests rage, if the tree doesn't bend, it's going to break. But just like the tree, if our roots are strong, they can hold us firm to the most important aspects of what it is of our character that we value. Well, from above during the storm, we see the tree yield. It's able to do so because its resolve res resides in its roots. We must take values and beliefs that we hold dear and use them to ankle our roots firmly so that we may yield in other less important aspects of of our lives when needed. There's some chaos going on over there. <laughs> this yielding generates true power and wisdom that should bolster our values and beliefs, so long as those values and beliefs promote harmony and balance. In life, we need to be able to leverage our flexibility in an effort to find that balance. Imagine a marriage where one spouse is always right, or at least thinks they were, and the other was always wrong, or believed that they were. What kind of chaos would that lead to? We will neither always be right, nor always be wrong, and recognizing that should help us better understand what it means to bring flexibility into our lives. As I sit here in this place of all places, I think about what a detriment rigid conformity can be when its roots are supposed to stand firm on values and beliefs in accordance with harmony and balance, but instead are weakened by discord. Perhaps if the wisdom of Lao Tzu was heeded as a warning, the events in 1989 would have been avoided altogether. Thank you for joining me for another Daily Dose of Tao, and I look forward to speaking with you again.